All right. Who can tell me? What's this? Sock. What's that? A sock. A, a, a sock? What kind of sock? A stocking. A stocking? Who likes stockings? What do you mean? All right. No, like these right here. Who likes stockings? Like, all right, here's a question. On Christmas in your family, when do you open up your stockings? Christmas. Hold on. Christmas. Uh, I'm going to go around the room. I'm going to go around the room. Quiet. Wait for your turn. Wait, remind me, what's your name? Nevaeh. Nevaeh. What, what, what do you guys do? Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, Christmas afternoon. When do you open up your stocking? Uh, at Christmas. When you wake up. Okay, Elijah. Christmas Eve, Duke. The day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, tomorrow. Okay, so kind of during breakfast as you're getting ready on Christmas. Okay, uh, Athena. When do you open up your guys' stockings? After what? After your grandparents get there. Okay, uh, Ariel, right? Is that your name, Ariel? When do you when do you open up your stocking? Done eating breakfast. All right, Darren. The same thing as Sissy said. After grandparents get there, you get to open up the stocking, right? Emily, what about you? When we wake up in the When you wake up in the morning, Tracy. When do you get to open up your stocking, buddy? Cool. Yeah. Okay, Michaela. Kind of after breakfast, okay? Sarah? After I wake up. After you wake up. Miss Louise, any, any specific time you open stockings up in your fam with your family? Before presents. Before presents. Andrew? Before presents. Yeah, me and Andrew and our family, we usually do it like the very first thing. Now, actually, what we do is we sing Happy Birthday to Jesus first. Then we get to the stockings, and then we eat breakfast, get the family all together and everything. Go but Jesus. Yes, yeah, right. But every year... Every year in my stocking, and you guys, you guys tell me if this is in your stocking, all right? Shh. You guys tell me if this is in your stocking, but every year I get those little guys in my stocking. They are chocolate, Christmas, Christmas chocolates, that's what they are. We got a wreath, we got a snowman, we got some uh, Christmas carolers, we got, we got some bells, we got Santa, and we got a Christmas tree. Raise your hand up. Did any of you guys get any kind of Christmas-like candy in your stockings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get those every every year. And so today, today, since it's Christmas, and, and people usually give away chocolate on, on Christmas, and we're doing Christmas in July, and chocolate is a good Christmas candy, today we are going to talk about Today, today, we are going to be talking about what God is like. And, and we're going to do that with the help of chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate is our candy this, chocolate is our candy this week. So, who likes chocolate? Anybody like chocolate? Chocolate, right? Chocolate. This guy likes chocolate. Did you say chocolate? With or without nuts. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 chocolate. <laughs> One chocolate bar for the night. Chocolate! Lady. Chocolate! Chocolate! He likes chocolate. He likes chocolate. chocolate. That would that would be chocolate. that would be me. That would that'd actually be my mom. My mom would chase after people selling chocolate. So if you, whenever you guys do like the, the school fundraisers and you have those chocolate bars, come talk to my mom. Because my, my, huh? My mom, you're scared of my mom? Me too. No, I'm just kidding. But we are going to be talking about chocolate. Now, here's the thing. Here, here's how we're going to do this. What kind of chocolate bar is this? It's a Hershey bar. It's a Hershey bar. What does a Hershey bar taste like?
Raise your hands. What does a Hershey chocolate. Like, like dark chocolate? Okay, Athena. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Michaela. Like, like milk. All right. Like a nice cool glass of chocolate milk. Elijah. Um, like milk chocolate. Like just like milk chocolate. Tastes like milk chocolate, Pastor Austin. What kind of question is this? Because it's milk chocolate. So, do you guys like? Does it taste sweet? Does it taste good? Does it taste bad? Tastes good, right? Hey, good. So if you guys, when you guys eat a chocolate bar, all right, shh, or she's too much yelling around. Or when you guys make a s'more, you can't have a s'more without chocolate. So when you have a good chocolate bar, you want other people to try a chocolate bar, yeah. right? Yeah, like if you had, if you had a Hershey bar, and I was over here talking about how good it is, you'd want to see it for yourself, right? You'd want me to take off a square of a Hershey bar and say, here you go, Emily, have a piece of chocolate, right? And so this, this Bible verse says, who can read this Bible verse for me? Michaela, go ahead. Taste and see that the Lord is good. That's right. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34.8. It's Psalm. No, you're right. It's Psalms. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shh. How can we, how can we, how, this has to taste and see. Now, we can't taste God, right? No. He's not a chocolate bar, right? No, he's we, not. We, we can't, we can't open up a bag, we can't open up, you know, a wrapper or a bag and just give it a lick and a bite and say, oh, God, you're good, right? We can't do that. But how do we know that God is good? Elijah, we were talking about this earlier, how good God is. How do we know God is good? Right. Yeah. That's right. Good job, buddy. So, yeah, give it you can clap for Elijah. Good job. So, the first the first kind of chocolate that we're going to talk about is this kind right here. Uh, and I talked about this online. It's a Mr. A Mr. Good Bar. And what it is, all right, shh. shh it did melt on me. You're right. So, a Mr. Goodbar. Now you're right. In the, in the online, it didn't melt on me. It was all mushy. And what, what I ended up talking about is how yeah, is God is good. God is good. God is good for all the reasons that Elijah just said, boys and girls. Shh. For all the reasons that Elijah just said, God is a good God. He loves us. He forgives us. He heals us. He provides for us. He's good. And what we talked about in that devotional online, when it melted on me, I said, even when life gets messy. Life, and you said life's like, um, uh, life gets messy, what kind of yeah. thing do you mean? <laughs> yeah, all right, because online, you can go back and watch it on YouTube, I talked about how squishy and messy, the mel who, who's melted a chocolate bar? Right? No, it's still good, but it's messy. And, and that's what I said. That's what I said, Duke. I said, even when things get messy, God is still good. And you know what? Since it's Christmas in July, we can't, we can't have Christmas without snow, right? We can't have Christmas without snow, so we're going to make some snow. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to make... So as we talk about the, what God is like, we're going to make some snow and we're going to color it. So since God is good, I think blue is a good color. So I'm going to make some blue snow. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm going to make some. Because like Elijah said, we have a lot of reasons. I that. We have a lot of reasons to think about how. What is that color stuff? It's water and food coloring. We have a lot of reasons to think about how good 
God is. No, it's not edible. So now we have blue snow. Yeah, you can feel it. Is that real snow, though? Is that real snow? Whoa! Whoa, alright, alright, don't make a mess, don't make a mess. Stop, 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 stop. I don't want to get all over the floor. Is it real snow though? It's blue snow. Mine's cold. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna make more. You guys can go back and have a seat. You guys can touch it later. I want it blue. I want it blue. Blue snow. Alright. All right. All right. Sit down. Sit down, cause we're gonna make more snow. But now, how many of you think? How many of you think snow is a good thing? Right. All right. So God, God is good, like blue snow. He's actually better than blue snow. But we're just using colors and, and symbolism. The next chocolate. What is this? Oh no. An almond joy. An almond joy. All right. Shh. All right. Shh. Here. All right. Hey. Quiet. 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 There are people who like almond joys. And what's this? What's the first? What's the second half of the word? What's this word right here? Joy. 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 Yeah. It tastes like almond and coconut. But boys and girls. Shh. Want to know why I have an almond joy up there? Because God. Gives us joy. As a matter of fact, in Psalms 16.11, it says, In your presence there is fullness of joy. So you see, boys and girls, God, God gives us joy. I'm gonna be looking at I'm gonna be looking for some volunteers to help me make snow here in a minute. But I'm only gonna be picking people who are quiet and paying attention. God gives us joy. We talked about a couple weeks ago, we just got done reviewing, how we talked about how we shouldn't be complaining because of all the things that God has given us and we have a lot of things to be thankful for. And when we think about how much we're thankful for, we get happy. Right? When you guys think about your blessings and all the blessings God has given you, do you guys feel happy or sad? Happy. happy. Well, we're, when, you were, when you're reading your Bible and you're reading about all the how much God loves you and how awesome He is and reading all the super cool Bible stories, you guys feel happy, right? When, you're si- when we're singing, when we're singing, all right, sh- we're praising and worshiping and, and, and really just thinking about Jesus and not, not worrying about what our neighbors are doing, we feel happy, right? So God gives us joy. Duke, come up here for a minute. Because we have a lot to cover. I have to go kind of fast. God does give us joy. So pick a color. We got What color do you think would be joyful? All right. We got some orange or, or pink. All right, buddy. Here, I'll hold this. And you just slowly dump the pink water into there. And we'll make... Yeah, pink is your joyful color. Pink, pink is joyful. It's happy. It's, it's popping. There we go. All right. Thank you, Duke. There we go. So we got good snow, good blue snow, and joyful pink snow. The next one. What is this? Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. Yeah, there's the, no, he's just showing you. He's just showing you. He's just showing you a Kit Kat. Who likes? Who likes a Kit Kat? Who likes Kit Cats? Everybody likes Kit Cats, right? So a Kit Kat, and it, what? All right. Sh- so a, when you open up, when you open up a Kit Kat, what does it look like? Hey. It looks like a waffle. All right. Sh- I hear way too much. I'm still looking for people who are raising their hands up. Athena, what does when you open up a Kit Kat? You know, you open up the wrapper. What does a Kit Kat look like? Like a bar of chocolate, right? And then uh, let me see, Ariel, what do you do after you you open up a Kit Kat bar? It, it, you, it, you steal this bar of chocolate, and then what do you do next? How do you eat it? With your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with your mouth. With but you, mouth? you, the Kit Kats break apart, break right? Break you break it. You break or, it. Or, or, or you just, you know, fall on in your mouth, get in my belly. Yeah, but, or eat it all in your mouth. Or eat it all in your mouth. But usually, 
usually you break you have the option to break Kit Kats apart. Right? So Kit Kats just like those white chocolate ones I have over there. Kit Kats can change. Kit Kats can change what they look like. We can change Kit but wanna know who won't change? Uh oh. God. 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 And because here's the thing, boys and girls. Here's the thing. Because you break them apart. They go from a full size big bar to you can change them and break them apart into smaller bars or smaller pieces. And we know we have a world that is going crazy right now. We have a world going, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world. See, where people are always talking about all the changes that are coming and will be made and all this. But you know what? We, as Christians, as boys and girls who love God, we can be happy that no matter what the world does, we can know that God never, ever, ever will change. As a matter of fact, in in Malachi 3, dot, dot 6, it says, this is God talking. He says, I am the Lord, I change not. Well, Pastor Asa, what does that mean? It means no matter what changes may happen in the world or what changes may happen in our lives, because change always happens, but God is not going to change. He won't, he won't ever stop being good. He won't ever stop being loving. He won't, thank you. <laughs> he won't ever stop being our provider. He doesn't change. He doesn't change. And something that always that never changes is um let me see here. I think that one's black. Somebody Huh? Or purple. I I have that's green. That's green. That one's green. Some of these went a little darker. You know what? Here's how I can tell. That's purple. Something that can't ever change is, is black. When you make black, no, it can't change into. You could try. You could try and make it lighter, but it would be a. It can't. Yeah, I mean, you could try. You could try to change it. You could try to change it, but it, what, Afina, what do you think? Huh? Nothing? No. So, yeah, it, it can't change. Um, let me see. Um, Afina, you want to help me make some snow? Same thing. I will hold the ball. You just dump it in. <laughs> oh. It's better than the egg that you had in your hair on Wednesday, huh? There we go. There we have. There we have black snow. You guys can you guys can feel it later. But there we have black snow. All right. That's something that my So we have blue good snow, pink joyful snow, and black never changing snow. What's the next one? Crackle. Who Crackle. Crackle. Who's ever who's ever had a situation come out out of nowhere, yeah, and it's been a surprise. Everybody should put your hands up. Everybody has these situations because where you're like, I didn't see that coming. I mean, we're living through one right now. Nobody thought 2020 was going to be the way it is now. But right, so it's a crackle. It's milk chocolate. It has crispy rices. And if you don't know what it is, when you bite into it, it's a surprise. Because you feel that crunch, you're like, oh, what's that? Ooh. What's that? So, and it's that rice in the chocolate. Now, surprises may come up in life. But we have a God who doesn't crack when the changes come. When things go bad and, and bad situations arise, God doesn't crack under pressure. He doesn't take it by surprise. This isn't really a Bible verse, but it's a quote by W.T. Perkheiser. And it says, Nothing takes God by surprise. He knows... He says, Nothing takes God by surprise. He knows the future and can therefore guide us through its trackless ways. Which means, boys and girls... Which means, boys and girls... God... God is our guide through the uncertain times. 
Hey, TikTok dancers, do I have to separate you? I know TikTok is fun, but we're not doing it in church. At least not right now. Not right now. We are going church. Maybe later. We're doing church, not TikTok. Maybe later we can. TikTok. All right. God is our guide for uncertain times. He does not get scared off when things seem bad. And you want to know what's bad? Want to know what's a surprise? Oh, when you, when you come across yellow snow. Oh, oh. When you come across yellow, Tracy, 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 you want to help me out? You want to help me out? Come here, come here, buddy. Because when you're in, when you're making a snowman, there's nothing more surprising than when you see yellow snow. So Tracy, can you do me a favor? Can you can you take this cup? And can you help me dump it in there? Okay. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. It's a magic snow powder. Yeah, I found it online. Yeah, you, you can touch it. All right, all right. Good job, Tracy. Good job, Tracy. So we have blue good snow, joy pink snow, black never changing snow, and yellow surprise snow. We gotta keep. We gotta move a little faster. No, I'm not All right. Shh. Oh, no. I'm not no All right. Shh. I know you guys don't eat mounds, but you wanna know what? God likes to give us mounds of blessings. Oh. 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 That's a good one. He. All right. Shh. God blesses us and gives us mounds of blessings. Ezekiel 34.26 I will send down showers and season. There will be showers of blessings. We've all we talked about being thankful. And we need to be thankful for all the blessings God gave us. Our family members, our house, our friends, our pets. All the blessings we have, our lives. All the blessings physically and spiritually that God has given us. Yeah, waking up is a blessing. Waking up is a blessing. So God gives us, God gives us mounds of blessings. Let me see here. Um, Nevea, what color should we use for blessing snow? What color do you think? Red. All right. Slowly dump it in to the to the cup there or the bowl, and we'll see blessing snow. Because I don't want it to spill all over the floor. Very good. That one came out nice. Good job. Blessing snow. So blue good snow. Pink joy snow. Black never changing snow. Yellow surprise snow. Ye red blessing snow. Who likes Reese's? Mommy. I can't even see the snow. I know. We'll move it over here so you guys can see it later. Reese's. Now, at my work. Reese's, Reese's, whatever it may be. Now, at my work. Shh. Darren. In my work, we always have bags of Reese's or Reese's, however you want to say it. And we, because my, I work with a lot of people who love chocolate. Oh they, they love chocolate. And so we always have Reese's. And on a bad day, if they put a Reese's in their mouth, a, a peanut butter cup in their mouth, and they say, that's just what I need. That's just what I needed. It, it provided what they needed. And you know what? Just like when he gives us mounds of blessings, God provides our needs. He provides our needs. Philippians 4, dot, dot 19. My God will meet your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. So, just to recap really quick. God is good. God, God is good. God gives us joy. God is better than good. All right, shh. You can't, you can't say what, you can't repeat it if, I, if you guys are talking over me. God is good. God is good. God gives us joy. God gives us joy. God never changes. God never changes. Nothing takes God by surprise. Never takes God by surprise. God gives us blessings. God gives us blessings. He provides for our needs. Provides for our needs. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Michaela. What color should we use for God meeting our needs? We have, we have orange, purple, green, and some 
orange or red, I think it is. Purple, you said? That's purple. Okay. Yeah, that's purple. There we go. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! All right, that's enough. I don't want it to overflow and get all over. There we go. Where's our, our purple snow that meets our needs? It's so good. It looks almost like a slushie. Oh. All right, like go potty. All right, moving right along. Who likes Snickers? <laughs> who likes Snickers? Now, who knows what to say? Dude, put your shirt on, man. Now, who knows the saying for Snickers? No, hey, shh, Elijah and Duke. We're almost done. Who knows the slogan for Snickers? They have a saying. What, what is it, Tamara? What? The slogan for Snickers. What? That's Kit Kats. <laughs> they always say they're not you or you're hungry or Snickers satisfies. I know. Now, real talk, if you don't get anything else out of this, I want you to get this. I know. What is satisfying? Good? Fills you. Snickers? Like, let's say. Like when you go out for lunch and you're so hungry and you're looking for something to eat and, and you, get that, you get that food, you get those chicken nuggets, you get the hot dog, you get the tacos, whatever it may be, and you're like, ooh, they hit the spot, you're satisfied. Amen. All right. All right. Hey, boys and girls, for real. If you don't remember anything else that I talk about today, I want you to remember this. That's in Psalms 107.9. It says, For he satisfies a longing soul and a hungry soul. He fills with good things. Now, boys and girls. There are people. There are people who are longing for something. They have a hole in their hearts. It's not a real hole. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a metaphorical hole. Okay. It's a Jesus-sized hole. And you want to know what they do? Shh, guys, hey. They try to fill a Jesus-sized hole with other things. Who likes donuts? Yeah, I like donut holes. I like donut holes. You know, when you look, when you look at a, when you, hey guys, again, too much talking. When you guys look at a donut, all right. Hey, what does a donut look like? A circle with a hole in the middle. Now, boys and girls. Boys and, boys and girls. Yes, that's what the Bible says, Michaela. I said there is a hole in the middle of a donut. Yeah. And that's the hole that's supposed to be inside of it. And if you take a donut hole, we didn't get actual big size donuts, but if you were to take a donut hole, yeah. if you were to take a donut hole and stick it in that donut, that hole would be filled, right? Yeah, it'll be a. It would be a whole donut. Now, boys and girls. Boys, boys and girls. Hey, shh. Shh. For real, I, I want you to pay attention to this. Because I've seen people go after things that aren't going to fill that hole in their hearts. I've seen, I've seen boys and girls who grew up in church try to fill a hole with something other than Jesus. I have friends who grew up in church with me who aren't in church right now and they're searching for a hole. They're searching. They have this Jesus-sized hole. They're not putting Jesus in it. Exactly. We're trying to put other things in that Jesus-sized hole. those things that little kids have, like those things you have to put a shave in it, but the other shapes don't. Exactly. That's a good... That's a good... Yes, thank you, Michaela. That's good. It's like when you're trying to shove a shape, a, a, a square where a triangle should be. Yeah. And they, they fill it, they try to fill it up with other bad things. But boys and girls, Jesus is the only one, Jesus is the only one who can fill that hole in our heart. He's the only one. He's the only one who, Snickers is good, but it cannot satisfy. It can't, it can't fill you up. 
as far as that Jesus-sized hole goes. He's the only one who can satisfy. Sarah, what color should we use? I think we got green, orange, or I think that may be some sort of yellow or orange. I don't know, but what color? Green. Green? Do All right, Sarah. I'm going to do one. Tracy's going to help you. Tracy's done it. He can show you how to do it. Go ahead and help her out, Tracy. So green, because green is a satisfying color. Green. Oh, it's green. All right, good job. Can I feel it? I feel it. I want to feel it. All right, we'll feel, we'll feel all the colors later. We'll feel all the colors later. All right. What is that? It's not a poop. It's a kiss. It's a kiss because our last one, and then we have... Well, now, all right, shh. Whoa. All right. What does a, hey, 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 what does a, what does a kiss, what is, what, what, what is a kiss? What does, what a kiss symbolize? A kiss. Yeah, not like that. No, 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 no. But it, it symbolizes, say it again, because these kids have been too busy talking on top of people today. So they're not getting, they're not wanting to hear what I'm saying today. So. So, and what is a what would a kiss symbolize? Love. 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 God. I got a love. God. Hey, hey, we're not talking about your love. We're, we're not talking about, about your boyfriend, girlfriend, love. We ain't talking about. We ain't talking about no. But God is love. Amen. Just like just like hey. Andy's friend Mark Johnson. God a, is love. Dad. Now listen up. I had a friend named Mark Johnson. Oh, God, God is love. That's God. And in First John four dot dot sixteen. All right. And in First John, in First John four dot dot sixteen, it says God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. So God is love, and we see that because when Christmas, Jesus gave up everything to come to Earth. And be born in a manger. And then he proved his love for us by dying on a cross. And we talked about that. Just yeah, we talked about that on a Sunday night a couple weeks ago. Yeah, about how Jesus is a way Yeah. No, we talked about the first day of truth. I think I got, I think I got too many candies. So, I think I got too much snow. But God is love. He loves us so much. And because he loves, he forgives. Tomorrow. Have you helped make snow yet? No. Do you want to? Sure. Come on up. Because God is love. Because that's who God is. God is love. Who else has not made snow yet? Elijah. Have you made snow yet? Come on up. We got two more colors. Because... Christmas, God loved us so much that He came to earth. That He came to be born in a manger for us. So, tomorrow, go ahead and dump your color. They may be the same colors, they may not. I don't know. She got orange snow. And then, hold on, buddy. And then God is our forgiver, and He proved that by forgiving our sins when He, by Jesus' sacrifice. That Jesus paid on the cross. Go ahead, Elijah. Let's see what color your snow is going to end up. Kind of a different... Well, it's orange too, it looks like. Maybe a little bit lighter orange. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. You guys go back and have a seat. Almost. So, boys and girls... I hope that you remember what God is like. What's God like? How He's good. Hold on. We're, 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 I'm, I'm trying to wrap this up. How He is good. How He gives us joy. How He never changes. How nothing takes Him by surprise. How He gives us lots of blessings. How He provides for our needs. How He satisfies. How He is 
how he loves and how he forgives. Boys and girls, this whole this whole this this whole lesson can be wrapped up in three words. God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome because He's good. He's awesome because He gives us joy. He's awesome because He never changes. He's awesome because nothing takes Him by surprise. He's awesome because He gives us mounds of blessings. He's awesome because He meets our needs. He is definitely awesome because He is the only one who can fill the hole in our hearts. And He is the only one who loves us so much that He came to earth. And He is the only one who can forgive us of sins. That is why God is awesome. I want you to watch this video. God this morning. God this morning. We are reflecting on how awesome you are. How you are a God who is good. We've seen your goodness in our lives. You You've done miracles for us. We've seen your goodness. We thank you that you give us joy. We thank you that you give us mounds of blessings. God, you don't have to, but because you want to. Because you love to bless your kids. God, we thank you that you satisfy, that you are the only one who can take that Jesus-sized hole and fill it up. That you meet our needs. That you love us and that you forgive us. God, we worship you because of how awesome you are. I hope that the boys and girls have understood that yeah, we've talked about chocolate and made, and made fake snow, but I hope they remember what we've talked about, about the ways of how you are good. And boys and girls, in response to that this morning, Andrew's going to lead us in a song. And then, uh, then we have a surprise and it'll be time to go home. So Andrew, come and lead us in this, in this song. Hurry up, I don't.